Okay. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Let's do a story time. Okay. I am a little bit uh, too tired or too lazy to walk. So I will just uh, sit here and uh, tell the story. And uh, this, uh, the, the background has some noise, but uh, it adds the real feeling of true life. I think uh, this way is actually less stressful because uh, life uh, do have uh, noises. And uh, the story is uh, inspired by once one friend comment and uh, this friend ask how to keep uh, in good spirit keep positive and uh, keep uh, healthy and doing exercise. So let's first start from keeping positive. That's my own story or my true experience. My true experience that is so fresh, so vivid so clear that it just happened today. So, uh, so today I had a relatively longer hours and this cannot compare with some of my colleagues longer hours. They have much longer hours than me sometimes and uh, so I was running uh, to prepare the material to pre prepare this and that art class it's kind of messy right you have 10 15 20 kids each one needs help, each one need uh, material, need this and that. So I was running between these and uh, just do not have enough time. I almost, I, it, the school does not allow running at uh, corridor, but uh, I just feel that time is so stress, and uh, it was a wonderful class, beautiful class, and uh, interesting class, exciting class, and inspiring class. But uh, when you have just so many things you cannot handle, or you have to handle, and you do not have time, it becomes stressful, right? And you start to grow some negativity. And sometimes negativity does not come from uh, a negative influence, does not always come from negative surrounding, negative influence, or, um, or hardship, or other situation. It can be 
just exhaustion, right? When we are tired, when we have uh, more things than we can handle, we have more uh, obligations than our ability. It is exhausting, right? And this is within our ability, but uh, it's just a tiring job, right? So I start to grow some negativity at the end of uh, the class. And, uh, and uh, not at the end of the class, when I finished the class, at the end of the, the, the whole class, was, I was very happy. And uh, I cleaned up the things, not actually cleaned up, actually cleaned up, but not sorted out. Some students painting, some with name, some does not with name, some with name on another piece of paper. Anyway, you just need to sort it out. And uh, I was thinking this afternoon, the classroom is empty. So maybe I should uh, do some painting, do some uh, class preparation. It's uh, beyond my job because my time is already done. And then I was thinking I'm too tired to stay in. So I went to the car and uh, wanted to go out. But my mind just become blank, totally blank. I do not know where I want to go. I do not know where I should go. I sit there, ate my yogurt, and still I have not figured out. Going too far will be too tiring. Going too close will be too boring. So I was uh, debating and hesitating, and it took another five or ten minutes until finally I was thinking maybe go to a library, a beautiful library. So I drove. And then I changed the idea again. Finally, I came here. The lesson of it is that uh, stagnation does not help. When you are staying in one status, in one place, you need a change. A change of scene, a change of air, a change of uh, mental spirit, mental mental space a change of mood this is a new place and once you are ready for a change and you take action the result will come naturally better than you expect. It's just so magical, so magical, every time, every single time. When I go to some new place, before going, I was thinking it must be boring, it must be not worthy, and 
I always, never an exception, I always am impressed by what just presented in front of my eyes. This is so beautiful. This is good. This is excellent. This is just right. I am so happy I come to this least significant place. When you lower the expectation, anything that comes is better than your expectation. You always end up a happy surprise. I am happy. I am happy now. Okay, let's talk about the next story. How about uh, exercise? This is uh, a story about a person I know. He once he decided to change himself. Maybe I should say her. Okay. Once this person, she decided to change herself. She does not like, she used to be so a uh, perfect body. And with age, growing to a certain age, she start to gain some weight. And she thought one day she wanted to have a change. And she tried several times, did not really take action. It did not take off until one day she decided to go keto or to have, a, I forgot what is that lifestyle. It's not important. She decided to take some big action so she had uh, her own um, meal plan that is different from others and uh, at home when people eating things it is more polite more friendly more uh, shallow hers more um, more um, more uh, comfortable, more suitable to eat with everyone else, right? We all know that. But uh, she has a bigger goal, that is to lose weight. So she kept on her diet. When other people eat pasta, she will not eat pasta. When other people eat uh, uh, bread, she will not eat bread. She just wanted to, to keep her style. And she kept, after a few weeks, she dropped some weight. I think uh, after one week, already see some, uh, some result. She was encouraged, and then she kept on doing that. Another week, dropped another couple of pounds. Then another week, dropped another couple of pounds. At the end of the day, and the end of her, her food regime, she dropped 30 to 40 pounds. And she came to be a new person. Of course, this was not only 
the food that made the change. She changed her lifestyle, but mostly she still walks the same way, sleeps the same way, but her food changed. What kept her to change the food? Because uh, it's not boring. She just lost taste for some of those particular food. And she gained new interest in finding some different food. It becomes a discovery. She likes to eat rice, but this time she changed into cauliflower rice or something. There are a lot of new things. She liked to eat ice cream, and then she started to figure out that there are some low-fat or low-calorie ice cream. She liked to eat uh, something, and she always found that there are some new substitutes. And not only because she found this substitute, it's because uh, looking for something, trying something, this journey by itself is interesting, is tempting, and it's resultful, and it's curious. So she kept doing that. Okay, <laughs> I missed the one part. Okay, so uh, she started to do swimming every day, goes to swim, and there was the time during pandemic, the swimming pool needs to sign up. So she figured out a way every time when it is signing up time, she either set up an alarm or she had a, a computer reminder so that she can make sure at that time she signs up. There are times, even with the technology, she could not sign up. She will wait <coughs> and uh, <coughs> wait outside if someone didn't go there, <coughs> he, she can <coughs> replace and take that empty spot. And uh, if that particular hour, no empty spots, she will put herself on the waiting list throughout the day. For example, 10 o'clock, there is a slot, 11 slot, 12 slot, she will put herself into all the slots until there is a chance. <clears throat> so, uh, swimming is uh, an exercise and uh, just sticking to something and make every effort, try to figure out that he can make, that she can make things done, achieve something, becomes a, a very, a very reachable and very solid and very uh, real goal in her life. So everything has turning around into into a challenge or an achievement of her life goal. So it's, it's just every day she's uh, 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 triggered, interested, and, uh, and uh, triggered, interested, and, uh, and awarded for her effort. So it worked out well. And uh, <clears throat> At the same time, she started to do audiobook, to listen to audiobooks. And uh, she started to search 
a certain topic, then found a good audiobook, and she searched a lot of audiobooks until she found one. Once she found this one, the search itself is interesting. Don't you think so? Looking for something is one of the best things. This is why we spend our life on internet, right? So she started to search for, uh, for the author. And then she found all series of this author and all series of stories, of books, of this topic. And then she started to find a certain way of talking that, uh, that, uh, that interests her. Then she started to look for the narrators. And, uh, and not even so, she bought equipment so that she can, um, she can swim and listen. There are equipment, uh, speakers or microphones or headset, underwater headsets. So this one hour of swimming is so much more than just to go to swim. It's a moment she look forward to. It's a moment she really enjoyed. It's one of the best time of her day. And it's not only so swim. It's not it's only the swim. It's the whole package together make this swim between uh, make this swim become the best thing in her life. So going exercise, going to gym, it could be the best time in our life. Of course we go to gym, of course we go to swim, of course we go to walk, because because that's the most fun thing, right? So here is what uh, I am trying to say through this story. You already got it, right? Exercise can be very fun live a healthy lifestyle or live whichever lifestyle it's all your decision it's all our own decision it's all how we make it i'm sorry for the airplane sound If you are still awake right now and listen to this, I would like to hear you one thing. How about the airplane sound? You know, right now I hear the airplane sound very, very loud. Actually, I stopped my video in the loudest time and uh, but I heard that the recent technology even cell phone iPhone or whatever phone the recent technology is becoming so smart I think they use AI they can distinguish the source the main source of the sound and they can ignore the background sound. Here is another airplane. Do you hear a strong noise? Let me know. I want to see or I want to I want to understand how this phone works, how the microphone of uh, of my cell phone works. Do you hear the noise of airplane? 
is that able to ignore the surrounding noise and pick up my voice, Hai Ying's voice only? That is my question. Okay. <laughs> you must be sleepy, sound sleepy now. Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Goo goo bye bye.